look at that silver chrome it's really nice isn't it silver all the way around silver silver white white silver silver white white So I always wanted to feature the gold chrome eyelid on my YouTube channel as appreciation for you guys, but I had no luck so far. As you know, gold chrome eyelid is not for sale. The only way to get one is that you have to enter a competition that is featured by the Energize Lab Facebook group page. And I actually entered one and I didn't win it. So apologies for that. But as a compensation, I managed to get the silver chrome eyelid and this is the actual package here. Now this time, what seems to stand out is that there's a QR code code here that Eile seems to be in love of scanning. I actually scan it myself. It seems to give a very long odd number, numerical value on it. So I'm not sure what that is all about. But anyhow, let's do the unboxing to see what is different with this silver chrome eyelid comparing to the ordinary eyelid that we actually bought. Shall we? So here it goes. Let's open it up. There you go. That's the silver chrome eyelid. So if we were to take one out, so that's the actual QR code and all the things that you can see. It's quite different this time, isn't it? It's more focused into the silver one. So if you compare it with eyelid DQ, for example, that is quite a contrast. Same size, but just a different cover. Now the moment of truth. Now, before we actually get into the actual eyelid itself, there's this cartoon here. So if you actually cut this bit that is shown a scissor sign, it's quite a funny story. The octopus professor is a friend of original eyelid who was beaten up. So it actually covered with the silver chrome eyelid. And as the silver chrome eyelid was not having fun with friends, it went to the sea and found these sort of purple rubies. And I think they both actually drank it. And the professor found out that it's actually a dung from the alien species. This time we get a different type of stickers. It's actually way more stickers than the other ones. And it seems to be like mirror imaging it all the way around with the eyelid, but different types of overall with expression sticker as well. Now, this is the silver chrome eyelid. Look at that. So if I were to take it out, there's an actual box, as we all know, original sort of instruction for eyelid. 3M, a, a sticker patch. That's quite nice. Power cable and the actual magnetic for joining in all the accessories and stickers. And I'm not sure about this one. This one seems quite unique this time. It says left and right on it. So I guess this is where you put it on the joint. For the accessories, this time we got a water bottle, cheesecake, and a cup of coffee, a chocolate cake. And I think this is one of those alien species that beaten up the original uh, eye lake. Oh, that's actually a waffle. If we were to take it out, that's how it looks like. Look at that silver chrome. It's really nice, isn't it? Silver all the way around. So let's actually take out this cover because you guys get really annoyed for me to keep it right so all charged up and updated so let's actually try out the eyelid chrome silver shall we so okay so the screen okay so there's a sensor <laughs> okay so bang 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 <laughs> Bang, 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 bang. Nothing really special. So, oh, actually, the motor sound is more smoother. So actually, I'm going to turn on the DQ. It's more smoother, definitely. You see that? That's okay. So let's actually place the mic. So they have improved the motor sound, in other words. So that's... It's less of a noise. It's still there. It's still there, but it's less of a noise. Okay, so let's do a quick run through of the function. So we got the actual AI side of it. Uh, this is the game, isn't it? Left and right. So if we want to click on that. Okay, so I'll do right. 
Okay, so that sort of thing, yeah? Okay, so let's go back. This is basically those... Uh, yeah, so that's basically based on the music as usual. So let's see if there's any changes. Yeah, definitely the motor is more smoother. So they definitely have improved. So I'm very happy with that. I deliberately lowered the voice uh, volume so that you guys can actually hear more of the uh, actual motor sound. This is quite pleasant. I have to admit DQ was a bit annoying or actually the previous version. So well done for that. Hello. How are you? Yeah, same as usual. So that's the game. So it's pretty much the same, isn't it? Yeah, same as usual. Fishing. Yeah, so that must be same. I really do like the chrome effect, by the way. So how long are we going to go through this? Come on, let's catch actually a fish. Come on, man. Yeah, so that's pretty much the same. So let's not catch the fish. Actually, this is just taking too long. So the next one is actually the puppet. So let's see. So do we have any? Yeah, that's quite new to me. Yeah, some of them are very familiar. So let me know if you guys think there's more new stuff here. Yep. Yeah, there you go. The actual events, isn't it? Happy birthday, we got. Touch. Yep, that's same as usual, isn't it? So no point going through all of that. And the actual time clock, 25 minutes. So skip to the next one. And also the egg timer as well. And settings. So we got the actual sound adjustment and brightness as well. So same as usual, isn't it? All right, so let's join up the silver chrome to Eilic DQ to see what sort of response we get. Okay. So they're actually ignoring each other. Finally, they're fighting. <laughs> Okay, you know, first they fight it, they become friends, isn't it? Okay, <laughs> so this is joint game mode, which all you guys know. As you notice, it's a yellow and a green, isn't it? Okay, so those are the basic function, isn't it? Cheers one. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. So th these are the actual programs that you could go through. Nice. Wrath of Thor. Let's do this one then. This one sounds pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay, let's try that one. <laughs> Show some martial arts. <laughs> oh. Ice cream battle, finally. <laughs> so I really want to try out what this is, but clearly this is for uh, you know, on the left hand side is for this one, on the right hand side is this smaller one here and so on. So I think it's something to do with connection. So let's actually try this 
here and to see whether it makes any difference when we get connected. Right, so it's somehow just basically preventing the connection. So um, as you can see, it's making the actual joint thicker on this end so that it won't be able to join on the other side of the end. So that's pretty interesting why they come up with this. I guess it's sometimes you just want them to be next to each other but not connected or something. I guess that's what it's for. So it's not that interesting. So there you go, folks. This is the silver chrome eye lick, which I'm very happy about, especially I like these sort of white colored, especially chrome effect robot. It'll be a quite a nice fit to my desk around here, isn't it? I'm starting to fall in love with the white color theme, sort of clean desk policy. And I think Ilic Silver Chrome will be a great addition. I think it's, I'm just going to put it next to my speaker there and see how it goes. So um, other than that, I think definitely the motor sound has definitely improved. The animation side, I can't see any improvement. I'm sure you guys are aware of this, as I've shown you briefly here. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And overall, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.